Rock and roll. Welcome here, everybody. Tim the Blacksmith. So this is day three of the 10 day stint of making axes. If you've been watching from the beginning, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, welcome here. Thanks to everybody who's been supporting Jonathan, Stu, and Brock. You guys rock. Thank you so much. These are your babies right here. Sending those out today. I'm just going to quickly pack these up and then we're going to get into today's axes. So today we've got another three axes here. So this is their biggest one in these three. This is either a plum or a Collins and we'll get into cleaning it up and seeing if there's any markings on it. I can't see anything with a quick look right now. That's going to be just a beauty. Really, really like these axes. That's going to be going with the 35 inch handle on that one. Here is a nice little USA man. Now I don't think there's a lot of markings to indicate that except for right back here there would be a circle with an M in it. Uh, so we'll see if there's anything else. Pretty tough to see that but I, I, I like them all. But again this is going to be a nice little 24 inch handle on that bad boy. She's going to be a beauty. And somebody on this one, check it out. <laughs> I hope they had a really good purpose for putting the uh, handle, the head upside down on the handle. That's a bit of a funny thing. Anyways, this is a true temper. Looks like it's got a nice profile to it. It's making of a nice axe as well. So let's get into these right now. It's got a steel wedge in it. Look at that. Can you see that? Somebody put a steel wedge in there. That's cute. I'm going to cut it off with the bandsaw. I'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll be back. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Fly it, axes! Fly it, axes! Oh wait, this is a really good axe that I'm just... Why will you not come out? Woo! I have something to confess. You might already be thinking it. I forgot the scale today, guys. <laughs> this guy is probably... Uh, Guessing, um, you know, the three and a bit pounds or so. So next up is this guy here. So we're gonna try to clean that up. See how it looks. This is the uh, two and a quarter um, sand bick that we finished up yesterday, I guess. Oh yeah, look how close these guys are. So this is the man, this is the Sandvik, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be in the same ballpark with that one. It's gonna look very similar when it's all done. Next up is this guy here, and for some reason, I really like True Temper axes. And uh, it's got good branding. This is going to be really fun to clean up and see what it looks like. So let's get into that right now. This guy is cleaned up really good, so we're going to start sharpening it up here. Everything's at various stages. So this is the uh, USA man, and uh, we're just gonna get the handle on that. And then that's actually the last one. I'm just gonna give that to Martin very carefully. And then uh, this one here, which is the uh, oof, True Temper Lion is beautiful, ready to go. Well, it's not ready to go, but the handle's on. This is like the call in company here. So we're just gonna start finishing this up. 
and uh, we're getting close. So I just finished taking the pictures for the website. I want to quickly show these axes before uh, I throw them up there. So this is the man. And uh, this is the markings in here. It's hard to see really this one. It's pretty worn in. The side's a little bit better. Actually, I'll turn it here for you. This one's a little bit better. You got an M in the circle. And it almost looks like there was something else going on in there, but I'm not quite sure what that was. But anyways, this is the uh, plumber, the Collins. Again, this is unmarked but a really nice ax. I really like these bigger ones. So this is the True Temper Lion, and this one is tugging my heart, I'm not gonna lie. So the True Temper Lion, I checked in with my ax guru buddies, and apparently this is a little bit special. It's not like totally uncommon in Canada, but it's definitely a little bit more special, and so I just really like that. It's a really nice looking little ax got the 24 inch handle on it check out the color differences between these though that's what I wanted to show you I guess I guess that these two oh it's even hard to see on camera I can see it better in real life um, I guess these are different pieces of hickory and this one is dark this is on the man I really like that not to say I don't like these but I love that contrast and then on this one I actually tried something a little different I tried to make it look a little bit more worn in the middle here so it's a little bit lighter with a little bit darker on the end so I kind of like that too so anyways, that's the set right there for today. Something's going on here. Um, I came into this whole entire little project totally emotionless. I had no emotion towards these axes. But now, something's going on because every day I'm like, oh, I kind of I kind of hope that little uh, True Temper Lion doesn't sell maybe because uh, I kind of like that one. And then I'm looking through the other ones and I'm like, oh, check out the markings on that one. I like that. And I'm starting to get it. <laughs> this is not good guys this is the last thing that I want to have happen so I really want you to buy these axes so I don't have them so I don't keep them because there's no logical reason that I need to have more axes in my life <laughs> but uh, if they wouldn't sell I mean I guess I could work with that anyways this is dangerous so we got to push these axes out we got to keep them coming and hopefully uh, we'll get through this that you get an axe and I can just see them off to a new home and we'll move on to the next thing. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, the axes are on the website. Link is in the description of this video. Take a look if you're interested in that. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep the forge lit.